tonight. Let's go to far off places and search for treasures bright. Come dream with me tonight. Let's build a giant airship and sail into the sky. Let's watch the ground so far below. Let's watch the birds as they fly by, fly so high. Come dream with me tonight. Hey, well, today the sun is shining brightly. That's right. No serious clouds in the sky. Yep, they all seem to be smiling. So, I suggest we assemble some assorted sustenance and depart for the purpose of an exterior repast. You mean we should go on a picnic? <laughs> Why, yes, precisely. Teddy, how come Gimmick always uses such complicated ways of saying simple things? I guess it's just part of being a genius, Grubby. I'll get the basket. I'll get the sandwiches. I'll get the picnic blanket. I'll also get the grundleberries and the cake. And the cheese and the crackers and the ice cream. Robbie, you can't take ice cream. It'll melt. Oh, well in that case, why don't we eat it right now? Mmm, mmm. -mm. These donuts sure are good. <laughs> Grubby, you just had ice cream. Yeah, but I was afraid the donuts might melt on the way, too. <laughs> oh, Grubby. Stand by, everyone. Prepare to lift off. Right, Gimmick? Aye, aye, Gimmick. Well, what do you know? It's that Gimmick and his pals. A full speed on the propeller, Grubby. I'd better go tell Tweak. Maybe I'll earn some brownie points for snitching. <laughs> Gee, it sure is nice here. Yes, Bogley Woods is the perfect spot for a picnic. Indeed, <laughs> most certainly. <gasps> hey, our food is walking away. Why, so it is. I wonder why. Well, there could be several reasons, like gravitational uh, 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 misalignment. I don't think it's gravity, Gimmick. I think it's bugs. Hey, Teddy, what kind of bugs are they? They've got spots on them. Those are ladybugs. Yes, dozens of them. Well, I don't think walking away with all our food is very ladylike. Look to the left, look to the right. March, you bugs, with all your might. If you've ever been on a picnic, you know what tiny bugs are. But when your food gets up, and marches away when things have gone a little bit too far For your information, bugs are very organized They're always in formation, even though they're tiny-sized They love to march, march, march Through the middle of your picnic Three, four, one, two, three! They love to march, march, march They don't care if they are rude you don't tell them to scram or beat it They'll walk up to your sandwich And then proceed to eat it They love to march, march, march Right through your picnic And march away with all your food Look alive, girls! And march away with all your food Looking good, guys! I'm proud of you! Uh, excuse me, miss Huh? Do you realize that you're taking away our food? What do you mean, your food? Well, the food you're carrying off is ours. And I say it's ours. I found it. But we brought it here for a picnic. See, here's our blanket and our picnic basket. Oh, dear. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. I thought all this stuff was just growing here. I knew it was too good to be true. Okay, everyone, put the food down. <sighs> yes, ma'am. Eddie's girls! Yeah, uh, uh, thank you. Yes, thank you, Miss... Amanda. Oh, dear. What's wrong? 
At this rate, I'm just never going to get a new spot. A new spot? Yeah, another spot on my back for doing a good deed. I was sure I could get one if I took all this food to everyone at the bug fair. The bug fair? Yeah, it's lots of fun. There's games and rides and contests. And best of all, there's the annual spot award for the ladybugs who've done really good deeds during the year. Hmm, a spot award. It sounds uh, uh, important. Oh, it's the most important thing in a ladybug's life. Well, I'm sure you'll think of some good deed to do, Amanda. Yeah, and maybe we could help. Thanks, guys, but I've got to do it myself. Anyway, you're welcome to come to the bug fair. I'm sure you'll have a good time. It's very nice of you to invite us, Amanda. I think we'd like to go. We sure would. Hey, that's terrific! Oh, but boy, oh boy, we have a big problem. What's that? All of you! You're just too big. You'll scare all the bugs away. Oh, or step on a few of us by accident. Well, we have an answer to that, don't we, Gimmick? Yeah, we, we, we certainly do. Uh, 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 we do? Of course, the portable reducing machine. Oh, right. It's in the airship. <laughs> I knew it was a good idea to make it uh, uh, portable. You ready, boys? Ready, gimmick. Okie dokie. Hey! How did you guys do that? <laughs> oh, it's just a special kind of science. Oh, it's wonderful. Hey, Amanda, won't you get a new spot now that we're taking the food to the bug fair? No, I have to earn my spot by doing good deeds all by myself. Mm. Oh, gee, I never realized grundleberries were so heavy. Oh, I know what you mean, Grubby. Here, guys, we'll show you. We're experts at it. Come on, girls. Hey, Tweep, what's with the weird-looking gizmo? Quiet, LB. Can't you see I'm trying to concentrate? You always say that when you're about to do something real stupid. Is that right? Well, I'll show you. Have Gimmick and his pals left yet? Yeah, boss. They went on a, ugh, a picnic. Excellent! That will give us plenty of time. For what? For the next item on the Marvel checklist. Senseless vandalism. Ha-ha! <laughs> LB, we're gonna paint my name all over Gimmick's cottage. Your name, huh? Now I see the senseless part. <laughs> And I'm gonna do it all with my very own automatic vandalism sprayer! You sure it works, Twink? Of course it works, you overgrown radish! I invented it. Watch! I'll demonstrate on this rock! <laughs> there, you see, LB? I told you it works! It sure does, boss. Are you positive you invented it? Careful, LB! You're living on borrowed time! With the salary you pay me, I'm also living on borrowed money. Well, fellas, here we are. Gee, so this is what the bug fair looks like. Hi, Amanda. Hey, everybody. These are my new friends, Teddy, Grubby, and Gimmick. They brought all their great food to share with us. Yay! Hi, who are you? Nice to meet you. Welcome. Yippee. Let's show them real bug hospitality, okay? Okay! Good idea! This is the twig lifting contest. Gee, sure looks strong, even if he does only have six legs. That's last year's champion, Samson Strongbug. That's an awfully big twig he's got to lift. Yes, and if he does lift it, it will be a new world record. Wow! If I hadn't seen it myself, I would have said it was scientifically uh, uh, impossible. You haven't seen anything yet. Come on! Boy, these nectar pops are great. Let's try the rides. Here's the bumper blossoms. Okay, folks, fasten your seatbelts and hold on tight. Wow! 
Wow, that was fun. Where to now, Amanda? The Acorn Coaster. Here we go. Is it too late to go back? Yikes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, it's time for the Bug Circus. <laughs> Everybody's eating from our picnic. Indeed. <laughs> There's plenty to go around. <laughs> Welcome to the Bug Circus! Now, under the bug top, the greatest show in Rondo! First, we present the amazing Beetle Brothers on the high wire! Ho! Ha! Ho! 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 Yeah, a stone! And here they are! The Fireflies! <laughs> jump! Jump! Oh, my! Even if you don't win a new spot, we're still your friends. Thanks, guys. You really are my friends. <sighs> well, there's always next year. It's the perfect scheme, LB! <laughs> when I'm finished with it, that absent-minded do-gooder Newton Gimmicks residence will be the disgrace of the neighborhood! Yes, real nice of you, Twiz. You've had that title long enough. <laughs> This gadget is going to need a lot of pressure to do the job right. Now get up there and start pumping. Sure, boss. How's this? No, no, no. And you call yourself a bounder? Put some, some bound into it. Like this? Now that's more like it. <laughs> Just one snap of this switch and Gimmick's wall will be a masterpiece of senseless vandalism. <laughs> Come on, LB, you've got to jump harder! Maybe it's jammed! The only thing that's jammed around here is your horn! Too far into your head! More pressure! More pressure! Keep jumping! <laughs> I guess I'll just have to wait another year for a new spot. That's too bad, Amanda. Well, you can't win them all. And now, I would like to say a little something about a very special ladybug, whose name is Amanda. Hey, he's talking about you. Today was her last chance to do a good deed to win a spot, but instead, she spent the whole day making sure her friends were happy. Hey, by Grundle, that's right. Now everyone knows that the very best good deed that anyone can do is to make new friends and to be nice to them. But this ladybug not only found one new friend, she found three. So Amanda, you have earned not one new spot, but three. Let's hear it for Amanda. <laughs> to thank Teddy, Grubby, and Gimmick, who taught me that gaining friendship is more important than gaining anything else. Do good deeds, good deeds are good to do. Do good deeds, and people will be proud of you. Do good deeds, good deeds are good to do. And you will soon discover that you're proud of yourself too. Do good deeds, good deeds are good to do. Do good deeds, and people will be proud of you. Do good deeds, good deeds are good to do. And you will soon discover that you're proud of yourself too. Proud of you. 
Something must be jammed. This plunger won't go down. Stand aside, you clots. I'll show you how to do it. Would you mind showing me that again? I had my eyes closed. <laughs> I don't know, Amanda. Any ideas, Gimmick? <gasps> well, there's always the possibility of a, a, an earthquake. Well, whatever it was, it's gone now. Uh, yes, it would appear it has. Uh, I think it's safe to say there is nothing to uh, fear. Whoa! Uh, well, uh, perhaps there's a, a, a little to fear. Something tells me this isn't going to be as much fun as the bug fair. I wonder what this thing is going to do with us. Where'd you get those neat bugs, Wooly? I found them in Misley Meadows. <gasps> this one with the four spots looks like a ladybug. Yeah, and the eight-legged one must be a potato bug. Potato bug? I wonder what these two are. I've never seen a bug with glasses before. What's going on, children? I brought some bugs to school, Miss Leona, just like you asked me to. <laughs> these aren't all bugs, Wooly. Unless someone's invented Teddy, Grubby, and Gimmick bugs. Is that you, Teddy? Yes, it is. It's Teddy Grubby and Gimmick! Our friend Amanda here invited us to attend the bug fair, so we used Gimmick's reducing machine to make us bug size. Great idea! What a wonderful idea! It was a good idea until we got nabbed by a hairy purple hand. Oh, gee! I'm real sorry about that! Now I went and did something stupid again. You don't feel bad, Wooly. Everyone makes uh, uh, mistakes. Yes, I made a mistake today, too. I started to take Teddy, Grubby, and Gimmick's food. I didn't know it belonged to them. But we wound up becoming good friends. What do you need bugs for anyhow, Wooly? I gave Wooly a special assignment. You see, he doesn't know what kind of creature he is. Miss Leona said that the best way to figure out what I am was to first figure out what I'm not. <laughs> A perfectly logical uh, conclusion. I'm glad one of us understands. I decided to study every creature in Grundo, beginning with the smallest and working my way up to the biggest. <laughs> hey, that would have to be me. <laughs> yeah. Good idea. Good idea. Well, come on. I'll take you back to your party. There. <laughs> That's more like it. I feel like my old self again. Gee, where did Amanda go? I'm down here, guys. There she is. Thanks for a very interesting day, Amanda. Yeah! Thanks! I learned a whole lot about bugs just talking to you! I should thank you for helping me win my spots. Amanda! Amanda! We've got an idea! Do us a favor! Come here! Okay, sure! It's a great idea! Would you like to learn even more about bugs? Sure! My friends here would like to volunteer to be a part of your study. Hey, that's great! Oh boy, this makes 12 good deeds today! Yeah, I can't wait till next year's bug fair. With someone his size, we'll probably earn 10 new spots! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh.